Welcome to Sell More Books TV News, produced monthly to keep independent authors informed of the latest developments in the self-publishing industry. In this issue, Ian Sutherland advises writers how they can effectively promote themselves and their books on Twitter. Author Orla Broderick launches a campaign on behalf of Women's Aid. Andrew Bromley of Ingram Spark presents one of the most effective publishing and distribution options for indie writers. And Wattpad adds a new feature to their online platform. But first, Ian Sutherland has just published a new book called Advanced Twitter Strategies for Authors. Twitter techniques to help you sell your book in under 15 minutes a day. We asked him to tell us about the book and share some of his most successful Twitter strategies. One of the big problems most indie authors face is, is being discovered in the first place and for readers to take a chance on an unknown author. And so I've looked into all of the, the best practice approaches around book marketing and, and all the various ways that, that you can do that and I've adopted many of those. Um, but Twitter seemed to me a really great opportunity if approached properly. The trick here is the use of third-party tools to automate a lot of activity. Okay? Um, and I, I automate as much as possible. Okay? Now that's dangerous <laughs> if left unchecked. Um, you don't really want to be uh, automating stuff that you've got no control over. So one of the, one of the, um, uh, one of the things I, got, I focused on a lot, and I focus on the book quite a lot, is some of the principles uh, to abide by if you're doing anything on Twitter. And I came up with a nice nifty um, you know, acronym called SHARP, <laughs> which is to be systematic, to be helpful, to be active, to be relevant, and to be personable. And I define all of those. And, and the idea is if you can make sure that your activity, whether it's stuff that you're doing manually or whether it's you know, you're having done by automation on your behalf, as long as it follows the, the SHARP principles, then everything you do will work, okay? Um, so being systematic just means being active on Twitter a lot. I mean, I tweet, you know, across a number of accounts, over 500 tweets a day, yeah? That's active and systematic, and I do it every day. I, um, I review my mention stream every day, and I interact and talk with people. When I do that, I'm being personable, yeah? It's very important to never, ever come across as a, as a bot, as a, as a robot. Um, on Twitter, you know, people will get turned off pretty quickly. And so um, you have to, you know, the most important one out, out of all of the sharp principles is, is, P, is to be personable, yeah. Um, being um, helpful is all about um, tweeting good content in the first place, and it's also about retweeting other people, okay? So when you retweet someone, you're doing your followers a favor by sharing good content, but you're also doing that person a favor. Um, and what have I missed? Active, relevant, systematic, um, helpful, personal, that's, that's the one I think. So the principles guide everything, um, and then the third party tools, you use the automation set up in a, in, a, in a clean way to abide by those rules. You can watch more of Ian's videos and learn more invaluable Twitter tips on sellmorebooks.tv. Wattpad have added a new feature to its platform, the ability to add sound clips to uploaded stories. The new feature is available via Wattpad's Android app and it will facilitate the creation of audiobooks or dialogue narration. It basically allows users to create a full soundtrack to their ebook if they wish to. Users can also create music playlists to accompany books or even insert a recorded message from the author where appropriate. It's a pretty useful tool and it is easy to use. You simply highlight the text or area of the book where you want to insert your own sound file or one available from the SoundCloud library. Unfortunately, it isn't currently available for iOS devices. To date, Wattpad hosts 75 million stories and 35 million users. It's a great place for new writers to build fans, or a place for an established writer who wishes to test or release extracts of work. For more information, visit the website below. Ingram Spark claimed to be the only publishing platform that delivers fully integrated print and digital distribution services to the book industry through a single source. We asked Andrew Bromley, their international marketing manager, how their services helped independent authors. So Ingram Spark is a, a platform that independent authors or independent publishers can use to maximise their distribution. 
So because Ingram, first and foremost, is a distributor before it became offered any print services, what they're able to do is offer the file either in print only, E only, or print and E to the largest number of uh, resellers in the industry. So Ingram connect to around 39,000 booksellers, either bricks and mortar or online um, services throughout the world. They're the, 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 by far the largest kind of distributor in the US. And if Ingram, if an independent publisher puts their content in Ingram Spark, their books become available to 39,000 resellers, as I mentioned, but they can, they, many of them order it through iPage, which is the ordering system where many bricks and mortar and online retailers order from Ingram as a wholesaler. If the books within Ingram Spark, it's treated and distributed just the same as any other book, whether that's traditionally published or independently published. So the buyer uh, would buy the book on the merit of the content, not whether it's been self-published or traditionally published. Sell More Books TV is an online TV channel produced by author Peter C. Middleton to assist indie writers. I asked him earlier why he had launched the channel. Like uh, most independent authors, I spent a long time writing my book and then I thought it was just a matter of sting it up online and everyone would buy it and um, I discovered that's not the case because my book was one of a hundred thousand books being published in the UK alone last year, which meant that somehow I needed to let people know that um, my book was available, that it was worth reading. And uh, when you're up against that kind of competition, mainly from established authors, it's not easy. So I started looking at ways in which I could promote my book and found out there was plenty of advice from plenty of sources, um, but I didn't have time to wade through it all. So what I decided to do is to learn how to promote my books by inviting into my studio um, some of the most knowledgeable people in the area of promotion and marketing of books. And as I interviewed them, I would learn from them and hopefully the end result of starting and running this channel will be that I'll be able to sell some of my own books. Well, we'll see about that. But um, I hope you enjoy um, browsing through this channel and learning from the experts, and um, I hope you're successful as an independent author. Peter would love to hear from anyone wanting to come to his studios and share advice with indie authors. You can contact him using the details below. And finally, author Orla Broderick is making a heartfelt appeal on behalf of Women's Aid, a UK charity working to end domestic abuse. It runs hostels for women and children needing a safe refuge, and Orla discovered that in one of these refuges, a large bookshelf stood empty. Women in crisis would appreciate the opportunity to escape from their troubles into the pages of a good book, like yours. So Orla would like to invite you to send new or nearly new copies of your books to these two branches, in Elgin Moray and the Isle of Skye. As one author suggested, this could be a great way to put to good use any copies of books that you've brought back from events with slightly damaged covers that make them unsaleable. Well, that's it for this issue of Sell More Books TV News. If you would like to share news, information or advice in the next issue, please contact us using the details below.